we wanted to offer a year-round, no-compromise vehicle to our largest group of Challenger buyers. Now, when we set out to put all-wheel drive on the Challenger, we first looked at the Charger. Now, the Charger and Challenger cross-shop each other, so we knew we had a large group of people who wanted all-wheel drive and that year-round capability in our vehicle. So the beauty of having a rear-wheel drive car is you still have all the fun and the driving dynamics of a rear-wheel drive car. You don't lose any of that because the all-wheel drive system only comes on when it's needed and when the conditions call for it. So you don't lose the fuel economy or efficiency associated with having a rear-wheel drive car. But to have that all-round weathered vehicle so that you have the all-wheel drive system when you need it is absolutely invaluable. And it lets the driver have a lot more confidence. And when you're confident as a driver, then you can really enjoy the dynamics and the spiritedness of the vehicle because you know that it's going to step in and do what it needs to do, whatever the conditions that are surrounding you. Vehicle dynamic control is an enhancement to the all-wheel drive control system. What it does is it better integrates the four-wheel drive system controls with the vehicle electronic stability control system. It allows us to maintain traction or enhance traction. It allows us to continue to maintain stability and control of the vehicle, but it also, most importantly, allows us to maintain the rear-wheel drive, fun to drive character of the Dodge Challenger. The key features, in addition to Dodge's award-winning all-wheel drive system, on the interior there are standard features such as Napa leather interior, which are heated and ventilated, and you have a power tilt and telescoping steering column. We have a performance leather-wrapped heated steering wheel with paddle shifters and real aluminum bezels on the interior. We also have Dodge's 8.4 inch Uconnect touchscreen display that has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto for the first time this year. On the exterior you have that signature muscle car look which harkens back to the 1971 Challenger. It's an unmistakable vehicle on the road. You have that split front grille, LED halo headlamps, and that muscle car character that just can't be missed. We have 19 inch aluminum wheels and all season tires sit at all four corners. And in the rear you have that split rear tail lamps and the just unmistakable Challenger look. The best part of having all-wheel drive on a Challenger is it really means that there's no compromise to the vehicle. You can drive a car like a Challenger, which is basically a performance muscle car with all of that uh, fun to drive feel and, and character, and I don't have to worry about taking the car out in snow or rain. I can drive it all year round with no concerns. If anything, this just allows the customer to push the car that much more. They still have the rear-wheel drive capability, they still have the spiritedness and the character of driving a rear-wheel drive car, but when you have that all-wheel drive system and you can get traction to all four tires, you can just push the car that much further and do things that you might not be able to do in a rear-wheel drive vehicle. The vehicle just started to arrive on dealer lots and starts at $33,395 before a $1,095 destination. There really is no competition for the GT. This is the world's first and only all-wheel drive muscle coupe.